We are entering a new phase. We're waiting to see what Democrats will do. Summer is starting, and the election season is about to begin in earnest. So here's something the president can change today that will make everything better for him going forward. Literally everything. Here it is. Stop doing everything that drove the writing of this tweet. First, the facts. The only thing that is fake is this president's outrage. The Navy story is true, and he knows it. His office asked for them to do this. His attacks on the truth impress the few but turn off the many. See, this president doesn't see what is happening around him. Exhibit A. John McCain, I wasn't a fan, but I would never do a thing like that. Now, somebody did it because they thought I didn't like him, okay? And they were well-meaning, I will say. Well-meaning? None of that is. You don't say you weren't a fan of a dead war hero, of all times, to be honest. And the fact that someone in the White House meant well by hiding a ship's name from the president is a symptom of a sickness. They won't mention preparing for election interference or the problems with kids at the border or giving trouble information about foreign affairs. None of this is well-meaning. It has meaning. There is a culture of fear and catering to a POTUS who routinely chooses to lie like this. There's no obstruction, there's no collusion, there's no nothing. It's nothing but a witch hunt. This is a witch hunt by the media and the Democrats, their partners. And it keeps going. Interference was real. He did try to obstruct. His people did collude. There was no criminal conspiracy with Russia. Thank God for that. But never a witch hunt. Trump's folks did stupid things to gain advantage and get advantage, and they lied about it, and so did the president. But there is a chance to change, and the president stands much to gain. Attacking the truth is killing him politically. Here's the argument. Well, first of all, easily, it's an abuse of power, and people know it. The biggest consensus about this president in this country is that he can't tell the truth, 65%. Find a number, another number that's that high about him, and they happen to be 100% right. The president wants to avoid impeachment. Here's the other part of the argument. Stop lying about what we know to be true. Here's why. The House needs people to buy in that this president should go because of what happened. I suggest it's an iffy proposition. But the more the president exhibits the same behaviors that are being examined, the more people are going to catch on. Push ideas for changing immigration. Don't lie about immigrants. Don't blame Democrats for a problem that you lied about creating, you fomented, and claimed could be fixed by a fence. Push policies for more jobs and better trade, but don't lie about our growth and the risk of tariffs. Don't lie to farmers. I don't accept that this president can't do things differently. I've seen him do things differently before. I watched him fall on his face and ask for money in ways and work into businesses in a way that he never had. I remember when this president wouldn't shake your hands. He was a germaphobe. Today, he shook a thousand cadets' hands in the Air Force graduation. So, this isn't just about doing what is right. That should be enough. But I can't see how this president wins with his numbers and support levels where they are. And the key to doing better for himself is doing better for the rest of us.